How do you feel when your parents told you they're going to send you to an all-white school? Um, actually, my parents didn't tell me that. Uh, the only thing that my parents said to me about attending a different school is that I was going to be going to a new school and that I should behave myself. You must have been afraid as you walked, walked to school through a mob of angry people shouting at you. Were you aware of the danger? How did you overcome your fear? I was never really afraid because I wasn't um, quite sure what was going on at the time. It seemed like Mardi Gras because in New Orleans I'm accustomed to Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't afraid um, for a very long time. What was it like to be the only African American child in an all-white school? What I do remember about um, first grade in that year is that it was very lonely. I didn't have any friends and I wasn't allowed to go to the cafeteria or play on the playground. So what bothered me the most was the loneliness in, um, in school every day. How did your first grade teacher, Miss Henry, touch your life? Mrs. Henry had a huge impact on my life. Mrs. Henry became my best friend, so she wasn't just my teacher. She was uh, my only friend in school. The mere fact that I didn't have other kids to play with, it was just her and I, and she made school fun, so um, she really made a huge impression on me. When you visit schools today, what strikes you most about how different it is from when you were a kid? Um, what strikes me the most? That particular year, as I said, I was alone, so it was totally different for me the second year because then school kids were together in school, and the mere fact that they were both black and white together was totally different from what I had been accustomed to. Today I do see schools that are uh, diverse and mixed, and I, I think that that's the way schools should be. I don't think that um, racism has a place in the hearts and minds of our children, and um, so I think that all schools should be diverse. That's totally um, not the case across the country. I do have opportunities to visit schools that are still somewhat segregated, and I think that's unfortunate. What impact do you feel you had on desegregation of schools? Uh, truly, it changed the face of education in our country because up until you know that that day when I entered school, the laws kept us segregated. And after entering the school, um, every child has the opportunity to kind of choose their own schools, and children have the opportunity to be with people that look different which would allow them opportunities to make friends with people that are different. Um, so, yes, I think that I had a huge impact on education. Do you know, did you know at the time just how much of a role you are playing in history? Not at all. <laughs> um, I was only going to school. I didn't realize that I was making history and, and how important it would be for years to come. So um, I'm extremely proud of the fact that my parents had the courage enough to say yes and to go through that um, that whole year, especially because it has made such a difference in the way that we're taught. It's been 50 years now. When you look back, how do you feel about it all? What emotions come up? Um, I still think there's so much work to be done. Uh, the mere fact that we have an African American president, we've uh, come a long ways from that day. But um, still racism is alive and well in our country, which is really unfortunate for, for all of us, but especially for our young people, because I think that racism is something that is passed on and taught to our kids. And that's a shame, because I don't think that it really matters to kids early on when they're as young as I was, six years old. Um, it doesn't matter to them what their friends look like. And so it's a shame that we as adults, that we pass it on to our kids. Um, so my work is still out there trying to make a difference and uh, convince kids that, you know, you need to allow yourself the opportunity to get to know one another. What you did affected every person in this country. What kind of impact has the whole experience had on your life personally? I think it shaped me into um, 
a person that isn't prejudiced. It's um, inspired me to want to continue to make a difference um, in this country. I think that racism is um, ugly and so unfair. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe that, you know, we all need one another. You and I, you know, we'll never know if we meet again, um, if we'll need one another. Maybe I'm someplace and I need help or you may need help. It would be great to know that you would come to my rescue. And I think um, that has nothing to do with what we look like. It has everything to do with what we're like inside, whether or not you'll choose to help me. And uh, that is a message that I want to continue to pass on to kids. What do you hope students of today learn from your experience of 50 years ago? I hope that they take heed to my message, you know, understand um, my story and what I went through and why. Um, I think once they understand that and relate it to their own lives, that um, hopefully it will help us to move closer to one another and rid our country of racism.